I'm a long way from the beachside rugby club of Randwick in Sydney, where I first met Eddie Jones. I suppose you could say we were both outsiders to rugby, but we were welcomed into the famous old club. Neither of us had the honour of being capped, but through different paths, we would both end up in the top rugby coaching job in Australia for the Wallabies, leading our countries to World Cup finals. We have now both coached for and against Australia, and Eddie is about to take them on again as head coach of England for the eighth time. So what's happening, mate? <laughs> yeah, it's not like good years, mate. No, it is not like good years at all. Here we go. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, no, yeah. good to see you. No, no, no. And nice to see you so relaxed in the lead up to the big game. Australia week, mate. You've got to be relaxed. Is it the biggest week for you, like from a coaching point of view, as far as being an Aussie? Oh, I think it's a bit of fun, mate, yeah. isn't it? You know, the contradiction of a... Australian coaching England and coaching against your own country. As you know, mate, the more you coach a team, the more you love them. Mm, you know, and the more, that's very true. You know, the, these are the players I love, um, so I want them to do well. And I love to see Australia do well, yeah. mate. You know, I've been pleased how well they've been doing. I've still got my mother watches every game, you know, so it's always there. But, uh, yeah, I've probably become a little bit less emotional about it. But six years now, yeah. and, and six years coaching England is is a successful feat in itself yeah. because it can be a very harsh environment, obviously. What have you been able to do that's been able to give you that longevity? Maybe just continually evolve, mate, um, because we need to change the way we play. And we've got some good young players coming through that have got the a bit of the bit between the teeth, and we've got to play a more aggressive attacking game. With that in mind, I feel like you've been the coach that's been able to really harness the talent that's in England. And you've really been able to, to get some great players come through. Who, who have been some of your, your, your best? Well, I think Marcus will be. Someone said, come watch Brighton College play. So I went and watched him and there was this young 10 that was like, it was like a, a Mark Eller. He was just sliding around the field, picking holes. So when you went to Brighton that day, could you have imagined Marcus playing starting a test match like this one on Saturday um, in 2021? Well, I did, you don't know the timing. When are they going to be at their best and how do you get them to their best? And, and, and that's the difficult bit dealing with the media because sometimes you can't talk about that and you get criticised for not picking a young guy earlier than you think you should because the one thing you can do, mate, is, is you can ruin a young player by bringing him in too early. Without a doubt, that's for sure. I I was thinking about you, you talk about the media. Is the controversy or the, do you like to bring that sometimes and, and for any particular reason or is it just something you like playing with? Oh, look, I think sometimes it can advantage your team yeah. uh, and, and it's becoming less and less like that. Um, but I also think we've got a responsibility to, to promote the sport. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think we've got a real response. And if you don't say anything, you don't promote the sport. So you've got to be prepared to roll the dice a, a little bit. And the other thing is the, the media tries to bully us all the time. You know, they try to bully coaches into saying what they want. You know, they've, you know th they come into a press conference and they know what headline they want. Yeah. You know, so they've <laughs> already got it. And they're trying to push you into that. Um, and I reckon the fun is trying to resist that. Yeah. And then you get a bit of angst, mate. Mate, they've given you a fair bit of grief over here. I never really understand why, because you've gone pretty well with them considering since 2015, but they've taken you to task a little bit about staff too. You know, it's hardcore and it, is that just your desire for standards or is that a, a, a way that you like to keep refreshing your team around you so that your players are hearing new information and getting next to new people all the time? Well, I think there's a couple of things. Firstly, mate, they've missed all the good stories. Yeah. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> but, like, uh, you know, I've got a commitment to, to want to be the best and some people, some people can, can meet that and some people can't. And, and if they can't, then, then you move on. Like, and the other thing, mate, I, I really believe in now, players like change. Like mm. having, having Gleeson and Seabold come in with new ideas now, yeah. the whole place is lit up, mate, honestly, because the players want new things. Yeah. Mate, I love it because everything's happening quicker, yeah. right? And the evolution, there's no reason that says that coaching has to be the same as coaching yeah. always has been. Every other craft and, and job is changing as well. And so now I've got the camera. Uh, I figure it's my big chance to go and do uh, 
my um, screen test yeah. for who wants to be a millionaire right. anchor, right? <laughs> Eddie Jones, post-2023, will want to do A, coach an NRL team, B, coach a Wallabies, C, coach a British Lions who tour the Wallabies, or D, none of the above. Just sit back, relax, maybe kissing your World Cup uh, winner's medal, chilling out, having a, a pina colada. What do you no, think? I've got this dream, mate. But I'm going to catch in the West Indies 2020. So I'm looking for a team over there. I've already decided Barbados is the place to go. Imagine doing that, mate. That would be good. I happen to know the guy who runs it. So That's if good, you need mate. a contact, I can get him straight in there. You are one of the great cricketers. You're looking forward to the Ashes coming up? Yeah, it should be fantastic. I mate. won't even ask who you're going for. <laughs> Thanks, right, mate. Appreciate mate. it.